apartment. All right, what's up, everybody? I'm at my apartment complex in Memphis, Tennessee. We just bought a house, but we still live here at the moment. Um, moving in next month. Anyway, here we go. I'm gonna see what kind of throw I can get on this 30 watt flight from uh, Colorado Paratech. Best lights on the planet Earth. Don't care what anybody says. They're lightweight, even the big boys are, for being what they are. They're in lightweight 3D printed, uh, printed closures. So, they're really light as a feather for being, or for a big 30 watt light, it's the lightest you're, you're gonna find. Trust me. Let's see what the thread is. Whoa. All right, I don't even have this zoomed in. I do have the 30 watt light all the way up. This is outdoor. That window is lit up right there about center screen. I'd say that's a good half a football field away. I mean, it's got to be 50 yards. And I'm seeing it easily. Zoom in. This light is amazing what you can see. Up in the sky. If you're a UFO hunter, if you're a paranormal investigator, if you're into forensics, crime scene investigator, this light is for you. This camera is even for you. In case you're wondering, I'm shooting on a Sony HDR CX700V. You can pick them up usually around 650 bucks on eBay. You can get them cheaper than that in auction. I won this one in auction. For like uh, 375, 325, 375, something like that, and that's a steal for this model. I mean, it's a really high-end model. Going out towards the parking lot, you can see the whole parking lot. And see, the sun's not completely down yet. It's not like pitch black, but it's down enough to the point where I can't see it. It's just about to go all the way down. Can I wait to have to look at the apartment complex anymore? Look at my beautiful house. I was over there yesterday. And it was absolutely wonderful. Here's my car. Lincoln MKT. 2014. Insurance is sky high. Thing has almost 400 horsepower stock. I didn't know that when I bought it. Otherwise I might have, would have thought twice about it. It seats. It's got third row seating, so that's why I got it. You know, I wanted plenty of room for the kiddos. I thought it had like a V8 in it or something. Come to find out, the damn thing's a race car on top of being a family car. I guess the original MSRP on it was 50 grand. I got it with 44,000 miles on it for 24, well, 25 grand after it was done. I can see all the way down here without zooming in. This is crazy. I'm gonna have to try this with my clear. Trying to get in that 
that bush and clear view from here. And we shall go back inside. That's another episode of Wes messing with his camera. Fun with cameras.